Okay, so let's put down some of our stuff. Uh, the tree would be a nice thing to put outside. So let's put down our tree. And let's make it really big. Okay, maybe that's too big. Mm, right there, yeah. I think that's a good size. And there's a bunch of other things you can do here. I'll put a short little clips of my own other homes that have some stuff I've already put down. So now that you've gotten this far, why don't we add some friends? So if you go to your social list, you can add neighbors. And you can visit other players, your neighbors' plots, even if they're offline. At least that's how it works. Let's make sure that's still the case. It is. So this is one of m my other character slots. And uh, we'll just go back home. So when you're visiting somebody else's place, up here by the menu button is how you'll return home. Now let's remodel some stuff. Now the outdoor remodeling costs way more than the indoor modeling, so you probably won't be able to do too much of that right away. But just like the indoor modeling, there's a lot of things that you can change here, particularly the sky. All these ones are from the store, I believe. And the changing the sky definitely changes the mood of your house as well. And again, you can change the music outside as well, so... The music in the outside and the music in your house can be different. And I think you can even have it different for different rooms, but I could be wrong about that. And you can change the ground. Let's exit out of that, get back to where I was. Perfect. Which I think is absolutely awesome. They have some really great ice I options for the ground here. Which one of my favorites is, of course, the snow. Alright. Now how about you want to visit somebody else's house? Just some random stranger. Well, you can do that. If you go up and click this little button, it'll show a bunch of people's public houses. These are people who've placed their home on public, so anyone can visit at any time. And I'll make a video... I plan to make videos later of myself, as I've said before, going around and seeing what other people come up with. Right now I'm kind of giving that a break because before the free-to-play patch, the plots were relatively smaller. So I'm giving people a chance to expand on their houses. Because when I logged in first, there was a big open wide space of nothing except grass all around all of my customizations. So I kind of had to spread things back out to make it look good again. And if you want to put your house on public, simply go to here and go visitor rules and set it to public. Mine's not very interesting, so I'm not going to do that for this character right now. And these options give people so that it, when they come to your house, if they start gathering your materials from your plots, then they sometimes get a portion of it. So it's kind of like giving them a, a little bit for doing your chores. And of course you can always rename your home for a price. And finally, we'll get back to where we started. This little platform. This will take you back to the city. And this here is a My vendor are that has a lot of decor items and fab kits for you. The fab kits are plots. So when you go out away from your home floating in the sky, you can always come back to this location to go back home. Or if you're far away and you don't want to travel back to Ilium to go home, as soon as you complete that initial quest, you'll get your house teleport. 
and you can teleport back to your house wherever you are. And when you leave, it'll teleport you back to the place in the world where you were when you first teleported home. Yay, I'm home! Alright, so you filled your home up with space and you're gonna need a little bit more space before you can afford or the level to increase the size of your home. So let's make a quick second floor. Now this is gonna just be a slapdash. You can improve on it. Oh, we're going to have to go to our vendor and go to building blocks. Now we'll have some floors here. That's walls. We're looking for floors. Here we go. So pick the kind of floor you like. Um, let's do the Granok floor. So here's how I do it, and I'm sure there are better ways or different ways of doing it, but I'll just show you my way for now. So we'll place that. And now we're going to use this to bring it up to where we want our floor to be. We want it... Sometimes the camera angle doesn't really agree with you on this. Oh, I screwed up. So if you screw up, just start back at the bottom and go boop, 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 boop. And I want it about there. It's kind of high up. You know what? We're going to do this a better way. We're going to cancel that, so that'll stay there. Let's move the couch out of the way. We'll decorate later. Go back to your vendor, and we'll go to stairs. Staircase. Give that a buy. Did it go to my crate? It didn't make the sound. It did. Okay. We'll, we'll do this starting with the stairs. So stairs are going to be how you get to your second floor. So you're going to want to be able to make a space for that. And usually I do this part second and then I find it a little difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the stairs. And have them how I want them. And we'll work around that. Oh, get my butt out of there. There. I think that's good for staircase. Hmm. This is going to be tricky. Alright, we're going to do things a little bit different. We're going to go this way. Yeah. Make the stairs bigger. And I'm, I'm okay with it being in the wall. If you don't like it, you can fiddle around with it. Alright. And now we can do this. So now, we'll bring this up. Try and get a good camera angle on here. It's hard to do with a Chua. I find it easier on other characters. For some reason, the Chua are problematic. And we want it up to about here. And then we're going to increase the size. Keep going. Right about there. Let's see how that looks. Alright. And don't worry, you're not going to see the corners sticking out when you leave your house. Now I've got a second floor. And you can add walls, more granok walls, to this area to make it more, you know, a pleasing looking, other than just having this big open space. But this is just a simple way to make a second floor and add more space to your home.
I ain't exactly at my best right now.